What did scientists discover on Jupiter? Jupiter's storm. Jupiter's great red spot, a massive storm that has been raging for hundreds of years. It's ridiculously large, like wider than the Earth. If Earth ever had a storm like that rage across its surface, there would be no Earth. The Great Cold Spot There's a new massive storm in town called the Great Cold Spot. It's nearly as large as the Great Red Spot. It's also the coldest spot in Jupiter's clouds, about 200 degrees Celsius, 360 degrees Fahrenheit, colder than its surroundings. That's how it got its name. Jupiter's Auroras Jupiter's great cold spot is hidden behind its powerful auroras. The same kind of phenomenon as the northern lights on Earth, only much, much more powerful. Furthermore, Unlike the Great Red Spot, which is slow to change, the Great Cold Spot is volatile. It's constantly expanding and contracting, changing shape in a matter of weeks, if not days. Scientists are still confused as to how it formed. Jupiter's swirling gases power the Great Red Spot. The Great Cold Spot, on the other hand, could be fueled by auroras. The auroras of Jupiter would be a spectacular sight to witness. They aren't the same as the ones on Earth. The sun's solar wind provides us with our space light shows. However, Jupiter's auroras do not rely heavily on the sun. They appear as a result of charged particles in Jupiter's enormous magnetosphere. Most of these particles come from Jupiter's volcanic moon. The Great Cold Spot if the great cold spot is formed by auroras, it could be thousands of years old, much older than the great red spot. It's not the only mysterious location hiding in Jupiter's insane atmosphere. Among the gas giant's beautiful swirling gases, there lies a dark vortex with an intriguing name, the Great Abyss. This is one of the most confusing features discovered by scientists on Jupiter. And, as a reminder, we've sent nine probes to this giant's. Pioneer 10, the first spacecraft to fly by Jupiter in 1973, to Juno, the most recent space probe to study the planet in depth. It took Juno 20 passes to notice and capture the Great Abyss's dark center. Despite this, scientists have no idea what this black hole is or how it formed. Jupiter's Great Black Hole Besides, the Great Abyss isn't exactly a black hole. It's the pitch-black core of a vortex. It could be quite deep. The atmosphere of Jupiter is terrifying. The main components of the gas giant are hydrogen and helium. However, its clouds are far more harmful. It's all ammonia ice on top. If you dive deeper, Beneath the colorful patterns, you'll most likely come across ammonium hydrosulfide crystals. Water, ice, and vapor can be found deep within the gas giant. Jupiter lacks a solid surface. Jupiter is essentially a frigid cold cloud floating in space with a massive hydrogen ocean at its core. Despite this, it is the largest planet in the solar system, larger than all other planets combined. Winds. The winds of Jupiter are terrifying. They're strong enough to blow more than three Earths worth of material around the planet. At the equator, they go as fast as 540 km s, 335 miles per hour. And deep into Jupiter's atmosphere, these winds might be blowing Jupiter's magnetic field off. Jupiter's magnetosphere is huge. It has a diameter 21 times that of Jupiter. No other planet in the solar system has a more powerful magnetosphere than Jupiter. As if that weren't enough, this gas giant has three magnetic poles. One is at the North Pole and the other is at the South Pole. The third is located near Jupiter's equator. Juno discovered it recently and was dubbed the Great Blue Spot. Scientists have observed how the magnetic field of the gas giant changes over time. 
They now believe that the strong winds are to blame for these changes. Jupiter is a cannibal planet. The gas giant was one of the first planets to form in the early days of our solar system. It explains why it's gigantic. Despite its gaseous nature, Jupiter contains a significant amount of heavy elements. And, thanks to Juno, we now know that this monstrous planet contains roughly 30 Earth-sized amounts of heavy elements. It's all because Jupiter is literally consuming other planets. They are not planets, but rather planetesimiles. These are clumps of dust and rock that can be hundreds of kilometers across. These clumps could have become a new planet like Mars or Earth if Jupiter hadn't eaten them for breakfast. It had the potential to push Earth out of the habitable zone. Or this new planet could have collided with Earth. It would also be cool if another Earth-like world was nearby.